Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve's MacFix and today what we're going to be doing is going over what's on my iPhone. I've done this video in the past and I thought it would be actually a good time to update you guys on what I'm rocking on my iPhone um, device itself. So let's get into this a little bit. Let's get started. Um, I am rocking an iPhone 4, by the way, as you can see. Uh, my iPhone is, cosmetically wise, let's go over some of this stuff. I am using an invisible shield. For me, it's a must. I always have keys in my pocket. And sometimes I accidentally throw my iPhone in the same pocket as my iPhone. And so an invisible shield protects me from that and it getting scratched. I know Apple says it's supposed to be a scratch resistant screen already, but I've been burned by that before. So I always have a screen protector and an invisible shield does justice for me big time. Now I'm also just using an iPhone um, Apple bumper. Now why am I just using that? Well for me, I never, knock on wood, I never ever really drop my phone and I really baby it. So that's why I have just the Apple bumper. I just, it's a nice lay in a table design. If you do smile, small drops, big deal, no problem at all. I won't protect it from major drops, but again, I always baby it. So this combo for me works really, really well. Anyway, so um, if I need more protection or I need more, more battery, I do rock the Mophie Juice Pack Air. And this is a wonderful case for if you need extra juice. The problem is this thing is huge. It's really thick. And I don't like this in my pocket. I really, really don't. So um, it's a great case. I don't like this thing here. And I'll get into that in another video maybe. But the flash doesn't work well with this opening here. But battery life, it's wonderful. I could last for days with this thing. Because I shoot a lot of video of the family. Then I'll rock this on occasion. Um, so that's cosmetic wise. Invisible shield, Apple bumper. Now, let's get into some of the good stuff. Some of the tweaks, some of the apps, and some of the good stuff I have on my iPhone. Let's zoom in a little bit here. As you can see, here's my lock screen. I wanted something different here. Uh, we've been using the same lock screen for those of us that had the original iPhone we had the same lock screen from day one till now and that's four generations ago and so I want to make sure I always have a different lock screen and I always like to differentiate my phone from anyone else's so nice big clock nice big date uh, different lock there slide to unlock let's go ahead and to the springboard itself once you notice a quick look um, the weather actually moves here if it's raining, you'll see raindrops. The clouds move in the background right now, as you can see. Um, that's just a weather plug-in for the springboard itself. Kind of a nice eye candy deal. Um, just some of the power of the, what the iPhone could actually do that a lot of people don't know about. So animated wallpaper in the background with actually a weather widget plug-in. Again, I do have the topography here um, of the clock, the date. And as you can see here, I do have lock info installed on my springboard itself, not just the lock screen, but the springboard too. So let's go into that. So what is lock info? Let me zoom in here real quick. I mean, it has all the essentials that I really need to take a quick glance. All my missed calls, my voicemail, my calendar. Um, I do also have a Twitter widget and as you can see here, you can see some of my, my buddies on Twitter. Big shout out to my tweet fam. Um, I told them to reply really quick and they could be on <laughs> my video. So a quick shout out to these guys here. And you can follow me on Twitter at Steve's MacVix. And so um, I could reply to them. Let's say, for example, let's say Kev is Mac. Uh, let's go into him really quick. I could reply to him. Let me zoom back out. Say, sup and I could send that here press send and it sends there so Twitter all the stuff I use on a daily basis or need act quick access to on my springboard clock missed calls texting Twitter reply to people all that on my first page now I want you to notice something here a really really cool effect a lot of people may know about it some people don't do not remember Linux <laughs> I don't know if anyone actually uses that anymore as a daily basis but um, for home computing, not too many people do. Uh, remember this thing here, Barrel, in, in Linux? It's 
kind of been ported a little bit to iOS and it gives that barrel effect like in Linux this is the box effect there's different effects you could choose and as you can see it gives it, it gives your springboard a box look I really really like that kind of sets it apart from other iPhones like whoa what is that so animated wallpaper plus that barrel effect really really cool I really like that a lot um, so that's my springboard there, barrel, and you can find that in Cydia. You have to be jailbroken again, another reason to. And I do have InfiniBoard, and that lets you be able to scroll up and down. Now, why do I do that? Um, because sometimes I like my apps to be categorized. Like, let's say, for example, um, this is my springboard for um, games and media and stuff like that so I want all my media here I know you have folders but sometimes I don't like folders <clears throat> I mainly use folders for me at least um, for applications I don't use that often so let's say business wise I have these apps here and I don't use them all the time so I put them in a folder um, social media wise let's go into some of the apps <clears throat> I mainly rock Twitter on that here I am let me show you this app I love this app and what it does it gives you um, your GPS location and you could send it to it as an email or I actually cut and copy it and paste it and um, tell people where I'm at so they know I'm on my way um, so it gives you your GPS location you'll be able to send it to someone via SMS or email I love that app um, Google Voice of course and Twitter those are my main things if you're bored you could get this iPoo app which is kind of funny <laughs> not going to get into the details on that one. Um, <clears throat> of course you have to, if, you have, if you're jailbroken, this is a must have, you have to have MyWi and you're going to be able to share your internet connection, make a, a Wi-Fi hotspot or Bluetooth uh, or USB, whatever you want to do, and share your internet connection that you have on your phone and share it with your Mac or your computer in general. So that is a must have for all jailbreakers to me if you always have a computer with you. <coughs> um, Shazam, of course, everyone knows that. I use IM Plus because how fast it loads for as my instant message client. Um, of course, Cydia and Stalus, we all know about those. Skyfire browser, I absolutely love. I don't use this as my everyday browser, but what's really nice about it, I'm not going to get into detail how people use these things, but of course, if you go into the settings here, you do have the possibility of private browsing and you could choose whether you want desktop or I, um, an iPhone or mobile page so mobile page desktop and private browsing which is a great great feature for sky skyfire browser um, let's get out of that One thing what I wanted to show you is okay so if I double click my home button I get all the current apps that I'm running right and if I double click and hold it quits all the apps automatically for me rather than going through each one and pressing the little button there and the badge and deleting it um, I just double click and hold it and it quits all my apps So that's another city effect or not effect but an application you could get I'll have links and um, some of the tweaks and mods that I have on my iPhone in the description so make sure you check it out down below um, if you're into politics WikiLeaks is pretty interesting I'm not gonna get into that because I don't want to get busted for a government and talking bad about them or whatever um, GTAS Pro, I absolutely love. I am a Google user, and this syncs task with my Google Calendar account, so pretty awesome there. Doco Bots, <laughs> if you have GPS on your iPhone, obviously, pretty cool and fun game actually. And what this does, um, you can make your own Doco Bot, and you can make it travel around the world, and you could visit other people's Doco Bots. Um, check it out; it's a GPS game. I really, really like it a lot. I have some walkie-talkie apps I've been trying out because uh, my my daughter has an iPhone or an old iPhone, and we use that as an iPod kind of deal, and we like to talk through that. It's for fun. Adult games are great if you have a significant other. I'm not going to get into that. Um, air sharing, you could share files through via Wi-Fi. IPTT, I push to talk, is kind of cool. You can meet some other people there. The native HDR that's built into the camera is cool, but I think actually HDR, Pro HDR, is a little bit better. I live in Cali, so you have to have a Quakes app. 
Uh, Reader, I don't use too much. Tweetings, I've been using that a lot, actually, uh, as my main Twitter account. I'm, I'm kind of shying away from it lately, but uh, I like that app a lot. Siri is cool. It's your personal assistant. Tell it what to do. Um, Slide Dial is a great app. Um, sometimes I just want to leave a voicemail. I don't want to talk to my brother or talk to someone else. I just could. It goes straight to their voicemail. I just click on that, and it calls their phone, but goes straight to their voicemail. I don't have to really talk to anyone. I am Filipino, so I do uh, need a dictionary. I'm trying to learn my parents' native language. Now, this is really, really cool. Um, Mobilia's webcam is pretty awesome, and what that does, it turns your iPhone into a webcam. So, via Wi-Fi, you don't have to be corded or anything. You have to just be on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. So your iPhone camera turns into a webcam itself. Let's go into some other stuff. Uh, this is my multimedia ba page itself. Um, I use iMovie a lot, a lot, lot, especially just for some of the video stuff I do with the kids. Uh, Pandora, I actually have the mod to have unlimited forwarding, so I don't have to listen to commercials, and also I, I get unlimited forwarding because if I don't like a song, they normally only let you, I think, listen to three or four songs and yet you can't stop from there but uh, yeah unlimited forwarding on that's kinda cool ITU, iTunes UPnP is a must-have uh, I believe I stream all my music to my uh, PS3 I love that feature there or if I need to copy movies whatever amp kit I use to actually hook up my guitar to my iPhone I'm probably gonna do a review on it um, I really really love this um, so yeah plug in your guitar straight to your iPhone. Um, let's see here. Nothing too special there. UFC Tube is alright. You could catch all the UFC events there. That's a city uh, application to. Oh, check this out here. XBMC. It's kind of like um, that's the multimedia player um, for PC. And what's equivalent is. Um, Plex and Boxy in a way um, on your Macs. So if I click on that, you actually get XMBC. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys get this mod and actually run it on your iPhone. Check this out. Pretty sweet. Anyway, so um, maybe I'll show you guys how to do that too eventually in the future. Um, let's go into some of the games I'm using right now. Nothing too much. I, I really don't game on my phone as much as I want to. I don't have time. But these are just some of the games you could scope out. One of my favorite, though, is free, <laughs> and it is uh, Charadium. <laughs> really, really cool. You just kind of sit there and you draw. It's kind of like charades in a way. So make sure you check that out. I really, really like that a lot. I do also have a hack. Uh, so I don't have any ads on my applications so yeah kinda cool uh, I also have SB settings I am using the iRetina Plus theme for SB settings and you can check out some of my toggles here um, the 3G unrestrictor is a must-have um, you could use FaceTime or use certain applications try to find out w if you're on Wi-Fi or not and some applications will not work if you are on 3G in that case you just use that application and it will Restrict it, and you could use it on 3G itself. Uh, ad block, as you can see, I have there. Um, some of the toggles I use a lot. I made sure it was accessible through SB settings itself, and that's pretty much it there. As you could see, that is the iRetina Plus theme. Really, really cool. This is a quick brief of what I have on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want, go ahead and make your own what's on my iPhone. Put it as a reply to this video. I hope you stay tuned to future videos by Steve's Mac Fix. Until then, I will see you next time. Um, also, I just want to update you guys. I will be doing one day uploading all my videos in the past in one day. So that way, no one gets confused on what is current and what is not. So um, this one is current video. I will see you guys next time. What's up to my tweet fam? One more time, quick scroll for all of you guys there. And other than that, I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.